G'day guys, MF West here, and this is a short video today covering what I think will be the best Deathmatch spec for in Taurus. Now, as you guys know, on the 21st of November, some hotfixes went out for both the Frost and a Holy Tear set, and wow, it changed. It's probably changed a lot of opinions. Now, Frost going into in Taurus had a really nice tier set. I'm not an expert on Frost, but I do know that as a really strong tier set. And um, it was looking like the dominant spec for Antorus. Regardless, I would have played on Holy, but still really strong tier set for Frost. Um, a lot of people were already farming up Frost um, legendaries and getting their AP into Frost. Then all of a sudden, the hotfixes came out. They got a massive nerf to their tier set. And we got a little small buff to our two set, which is pretty good because our tier set was not good. Now... Our current tier set for Tumas Argeris is one of the best tier sets we're ever going to see for Unholy, in my opinion. It allowed us to get um, Army of the Dead, allowed us to use Army of the Dead two to three times in Mythic Fights, which is really, really great. Um, now, the current tier set we have now, I'm sure you guys have seen it, um, you've read about it a lot. It's not that strong. It it's prioritized for single target, which I mean, Unholy is in a very good situation for single target damage. Um, um, a lot of the sims for, sorry, a lot of the WoW logs, if you guys go check out uh, some of the single target bosses in Tumas Argeris, like for example, Goroth, number one, even Demonic Inqu Inquisition with a, a bit of cleave, um, we're doing very well. So Unholy is very, very good single target. The only downside with this tier set is it brings nothing additional for AoE fights. Like we have to actually dig deep into our talents and our legendaries to do well in AoE, but Unholy has good AoE, so it's going to be interesting. It just sucks that our tier set is prior primarily single target that's it there's nothing else and literally just death coil that is it like death coil death coil death coil so what does this mean it makes it probably means that our relic our death coil relics are going to be best in slot um i'm not going to say anything yet i need to do testing when the patch goes live on tuesday i'm going to do a shitload of testing guys um primarily with legendaries now i'm not going to say yet what I 100% think the best legendaries will be for Unholy, but right now I'm going to guess that the Shoulders and Coldheart are going to be the best for single target. Hands down, hands down. The Shoulders are just giving way too much damage in fights, like so much damage. And what do you know? They focus with, the, I'm using Death Coil. Coldheart is just a flat percent damage buff. You can't beat that unless they nerf it. Um, Coldheart and the Shoulder Pads are going to be the best for single target fights, even a little bit of cleave, I reckon DA is bringing way too much damage to the party. Maybe on a AOE fights, we might see ourselves using the helm. Um, it could actually, the death coil or the tier set be in direct buff to that legendary with uh, death coils reducing the cooldown of defile. So you never know, guys. But like I said, when the patch goes live, I'll be doing a lot of testing, um, most definitely. So I think Unholy is going to be the best spec going into and Taurus. It's also the easier one to transition. A lot of people stopped putting AP into their uh, Unholy Legendaries, started boosting Frost, and then boom, these hotfixes came. So you've got the correct setup. You've got the right Legendaries. It's an easy transition to go into in Taurus. So yeah. Um, what else I wanted to show you guys, take it as a grain of salt, but Simulation Craft released Tier 20 Sims uh, with Legendaries. So as you can see, Unholy is in the middle of the pack. Uh, with Warriors just absolutely smashing it, but don't take this seriously. Things are going to change. Things are de definitely going to change when the patch goes live. There will be additional hotfixes, most definitely. Like, what's a new patch without hotfixes? But yeah, as you can see, I'm holding the middle of the pack, Frost a little bit below, and these are with the current hotfixes um, to the new tier set. So I think Frost is viable, but guys, Unholy for the win. And I do think a lot of people will be playing Unholy. It just brings... I think it's going to be stronger overall, especially for like, the duration of the raid. So we'll see. We never know. Frost might get a buff. Unholy might get a nerf or a buff. You never know, guys. But I am happy with the position that Unholy is going into in Taurus. It could be way worse. You can always think to yourself, we could be a fucking Red Paladin. So <laughs> yeah, guys, just take it as a grain of salt. But I am happy with Unholy. I want to ask you guys, let me know anything that you want me to cover down in the comments. So you want me to cover legendaries? Do you want me to cover relics? Do you want me to cover rotation? Um, when Tuesday comes, I'll be doing as much testing as I can. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked for this um, for this raid, guys. We're going to be doing this raid for a while, so let's get used to it. But yeah, I'm pretty pumped for it, and I'm sure you guys are as well. 
Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, MF West Wow. I'll be talking everything on Holy with then Taurus, and I can discuss with you guys uh, what's going on. But thanks a lot for tuning into this video. Give it a like, subscribe for more Holy content, guys. And MF West Start on Holy for the win, guys. Have a good one. Peace.